Welcome back, guys. Uh, today, uh, at the request of uh, one of the, our viewers, uh, the uh, distribution that we're going to take a look at is Chromixium. Now, Chromixium, um, basically, from from my standpoint, from what I see, Chromixium is trying to be a combination of Chrome OS, which is what you use uh, if you buy a Chromebook, and Ubuntu Linux. So in a perfect world that would mean that it performs the duties of Chrome OS, which basically means providing you access to Google Chrome and all of the other Google Apps uh, and the Google App Store along with the ability to use all of the Linux applications uh, just like any other Ubuntu based distribution and so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look to see how well it accomplishes that objective. Now, <clears throat> for this video is going to be uh, basically a, a rundown of what you get when you install Chromixium. And this is the new Chromixium 1.5 64-bit. It's the latest. Uh, release candidate which I downloaded just today now um, what we're going to do as I said is take a look at everything that comes with it uh, we're going to kind of feel our way around to see what's what what all of the ins and outs are configuration options um, and then we will uh, on part two, which I will uh, probably have online for you tomorrow, uh, part two will be to see how well it can accomplish the uh, needs and requirements of being an Ubuntu distribution. Now, so far, right off the bat, it's done pretty well. I was able to install GUVC View and Kazam. I uh, installed Ubuntu Restricted Extras. So uh, that's all I've done to it. So at this point, you're looking at basically what you see when you install Chromixium. So let's take a brief uh, walk around the desktop. On the right hand side you can see my little Kazam icon and then this little penguin is basically power off, switch user, reboot, sleep, hibernate, the, the typical um, power options for shutting down or rebooting, logging off. That's that little penguin. Then you've got Bluetooth, you've got in, uh, network connections it picked up my Ethernet and my Wi-Fi right off the bat right out of the box no problems and then running off mains power so it's a power manager settings and let's see I'm going to reconfigure this before I forget because I don't want it. Um, be, I don't want it going to sleep or having the screen locked. And I usually basically just back everything off. Um, so that's that that's it so that's basic power management I basically disabled everything then we've got the volume and mute and the clock and calendar so that is your 
kind of typical um, Ubuntu uh, system tray. As you can see, the uh, toolbar is transparent. And at the bottom, you can see I've got GUVC view and Kazam because they're open right now. Then you have a file manager. Google Drive. Now I've got a couple things here in Google Drive. So I've got a screenshot. Um, and I've also got this um, movie. So you can see how well it plays a movie. So the graphics seem to be very nice. Uh, everything's clear. It looks to be... Uh, the resolution looks to be excellent, so we will stop that. Uh, then we've got YouTube. So if you click on that, you get a dedicated YouTube browser. And if we click on Gmail, there's a dedicated Gmail browser. Now this, they've basically set this up as if you were setting up SSBs or site specific browsers. And we talked about that in the past when I did a uh, Peppermint 6 uh, analysis. Peppermint 6 uses an ICE program, which is readily available in other distributions. But Peppermint 6 was the, 6 was the first one that I saw that used it and basically you use it to create what's called site specific browsers so that way if you click on a if you create a browser uh, let's say for Netflix when you click on it uh, you'll get a browser in this case chromium you'll get a browser that opens dedicated to Netflix okay and speaking of browsers we have chromium and uh, that's your typical chromium really no difference okay so those are the icons that come in the toolbar right out of the box now this is one of the wallpapers now if you click on this little search symbol you're going to get a chromium app launcher and in there you have chromium you have the google web store let's click on that and take a look now this is the Google Web Store where they have all kinds of apps available. Um, so I'm not going to review all of the apps, but let's uh, suffice to say it is a, a full-featured app store. has games, extensions, themes, uh, Chrome apps, websites. So I'm sure you could have a lot of fun exploring in this particular web store to see what interests you. But these are all things that you can add to your uh, Chromixium um, application listing. Okay, so if we go back to the app launcher, we have, uh, I have a Kindle Cloud Reader, Google Search, YouTube. Uh, this recovery option is actually a recovery if you have a Chromebook. So if you uh, something happens and you can't boot your Chromebook, you, they have an easy recovery option. Basically brings your Chromebook back to factory specs. Then there's a calendar, Pocket, Facebook, Netflix. You got an offline Gmail reader. I, I have Evernote and Pandora. Now these are just some some of the things that you can add uh, from the Google Web Store. Okay, and these are basically Google settings, or uh, it's basically your uh, your account with Google, which basically feeds everything. If you have a Google account it's going to feed everything because this is Google based 
Now, so your email, your Gmail will be set up, your uh, Chrome, Chromium browser will be set up, your YouTube will be set up, your Google Drive will be set up. So it's, it, it drives everything that's uh, pre-configured uh, for this particular operating system. So let's take a look at what happens when you right click the desktop. You can change the wallpaper and as you can see you have a nice variety of wallpapers. Very nice. And I'm sure you can find something that you like. And there's a preferences list so you can add in just as you can on Ubuntu you can add in your pictures folder or whatever it is you want to add to the selection back to right click uh, we will look at the control panel in a second we've got a run command now this is your applications listing all of the settings now as you can see it's very similar to what you see in any Ubuntu distribution. It's got pretty much everything. Startup applications, printers, uh, keyboard shortcuts, firewall, dock management, control panel, Chromixium Software Center, automatic updates. So you can update your uh, operating system just as you would with any Ubuntu distribution. Now in accessories this is what comes out of the box. You've got uh, archive manager, calculator, file manager, file search, uh, image viewer, screenshot, terminal, and I did use the terminal to install uh, Kazam and GUVC view. For graphics uh, Image Viewer and Simple Scan comes installed. You can add anything you like after that. For Internet, you have Chromium, Gmail, all of the things we talked about. And you can sign in here to your Google accounts. And basically, it, if you sign in here for your Google account, it will populate everything else within the system according to whatever whoever you signed in as. So if you sign in, then your, your YouTube account will be already configured for you. Multimedia, Bracero, uh, I installed GUVC View, Kazam, and OpenShot, but Parole, Pulse Audio, and YouTube came already. Other, you've got all your, uh, basically your Google Apps, uh, Pocket, Sunrise, Chromebook, and App Launcher. Those usually get populated whenever you install Chrome or Chromium. For system, there's backup and restore. GDB is included, printers, root terminal, synaptic, system information, and task manager. You can sign into Chromium from here, log out, and shut down. That's your right click menu. Now let's take a look at the control panel. and I'm going to expand it to see what's available. Okay, so you've got About Me, Applications Menu, Updates, Backup and Restore, Bluetooth, Change Your Theme. This basically works the same way the Theme Changer works in a lot of Ubuntu uh, distributions where you can change the colors. Change Your Wallpaper, Chromixium Software Center, uh, Automatic Login. Now you've also got you can make changes to your dock settings and uh, change the plank dock settings so evidently this utilizes plank networking firewall flash player restricted extras I already clicked on that and installed them keyboard mouse shortcuts language modem monitor network notifications, keyboard settings, power manager, preferred applications, printers, pulse audio, screen lock settings, shared folders, software sources and drivers, 
startup apps, system information, time and day, users, and window manager settings. Now, these are all standard items that are normally in any Ubuntu distribution and they operate the same way. If you look at the uh, window manager settings, uh, you can basically there's a theme. Now, right now it's on Chromixium. Uh, there's what they call Bear ArtWiz Boxed, Bear 2. These are all prepackaged themes. Chromixium Light, Clear Books. I'm sorry, Clear Looks, Clear Looks 3.4. Olive, Greybird, uh, Makachu, Natura, Numix is included, Onyx, Onyx Citrus. So you've got quite a variety of themes included. And then you've, you can configure your window appearance. Uh, fo window focus. Moving and resizing mouse configuration, desktops, margins, and the dock. So as you can see, it's got a lot going for it. It's, uh, it, when you first boot up, it appears to be a Chrome OS, but as you dig a little deeper, you can see in actuality, it is Ubuntu. So, so far it looks good. I don't see any uh, issues at all. I like the way it looks. Seems to be uh, responsive. Uh, no problems with graphics. I did test the sound and that was fine. So as I said, I'm, this is only uh, part one. I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install everything I normally would install on an Ubuntu system and we'll see how it reacts and how it responds and we'll see if it can do the double duty the Chrome OS uh, the job of a Chrome OS which is what you see here a nice simple uh, desktop operating system and then how well can it uh, get into Ubuntu and everything else that we expect from Ubuntu which means I'm going to throw Steam at it I'm gonna throw Battle.net at it I'm gonna take a look at War Thunder and I'm going to install all of the apps that I normally install and we'll see how it how it goes so uh, guys I hope you enjoyed it this was part one of the Chromixium review uh, so far looks good. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care, guys.